behind there. It's going to clog it. Keep pouring, keep pouring. Can you pour anymore? Can you pull up anymore? Okay. So a few years ago, after watching a few too many videos on backyard casting, me and my brother decided to make a cannon. We used the drill press as a makeshift lathe and sculpted out of the shape of the cannon from a piece of wood. We melted down soda cans in a homemade furnace and cast the aluminum around a steel pipe so it could actually be fired. After a boatload of filing, it ended up looking pretty good. And yes, we fired it too. Recently, a friend of ours found this cannon carriage at a garage sale. We knew we had to make another one. And in order to be authentic, this one would have to be cast out of brass. First off, we melt our scrap brass into ingots. After successfully casting a few ingots, we decided to do a test pour. So my brother, who's the history buff, informed me that the correct cannon for that carriage would be a 12-pounder Napoleon, and so we were going to need to make a precise mold. I have a 3D printer, so that was fairly easy. I made a model in Fusion 360, I printed it out in six parts, and glued them all together. the model of the cannon complete, it was time to make the mold. Because the barrel has to be free floating during the pour, we drilled and tapped holes so that we could use bulbs to hold it in place.
go. Dang, that's heavy. She toasty. Get that whole thing out of there. Get that whole thing. You are really good at this. Finish that though, we got here. Here, here, here. <laughs> 